All right, it is the first day of winter. We got a lot of snow last night for October in this area. Probably snowed a couple inches, and there's obviously quite a bit of it still on the ground. This afternoon, Logan and I are going back into a spot where Keith and I hunted in their last gun season and had a lot of encounters with deer. Learned a fair bit about this little piece back here. And the reason that we're targeting this area is it's got all the things that we found that the deer are feeding on all in one spot. Anytime we found big stands of maples that are dropping, deer feeding on those leaves. Hedge trees are dropping their leaves. Those are back there. And then the last thing is the pin oaks. There's obviously more diversity back there as well. So I feel like the deer are gonna be holed up back in that little ridge system back there. We gotta cross a lot of grassland on the way. There's probably a good chance we could catch something cruising up on its feet, moving through here even middle of the afternoon because it's just, cold enough out here that I'd say the deer are feeling pretty froggy right now. So we're just kind of still on our way back in there reading the sign. We find something we're setting up on like a fresh scrape or big fresh buck tracks. Maybe we'll follow those for a while and just make a setup based on where the sign is. But we got a target area in mind for hunting our way back. guys in hiking boots take off into the wetland ground <laughs> and snow end up pretty wet we uh maybe maybe should have went with the rubbers tonight but we're just gonna have to tough it out at this point got pretty wet cool thing is is those pin oaks are just dropping all that snow off their leaves all these trees are still holding their leaves when that snow falls it's just making a ton of noise so even though it's really calm, we should be able to sneak into this bedding area and get to exactly where we want to be. We're going to slip up and get right in the middle of them. It's over. There's no hope yeah. of keeping them dry. Yeah. <laughs> That's this is solid now. You know it's bad when it went over your heels. Oh, it's brisk. Like real cold. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, shoot. There's snow on the ground, water's cold. Mm. <laughs> if we just stayed along this edge, it's smooth dry sailing. Smooth dry sailing. I really think we're gonna get up there and it's gonna be really sweet. But man, I'm like, like up here. Like around my tongue of my shoe, it's cold, like hurt and cold. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I know that. I know that feeling. I'm feeling it currently. Some days you make mistakes. Today's one of them days. I don't really even know how we're gonna get across this. It's crap. I might just run across. At this point, what's it even matter? Yeah, we'll see. Cold-footed hunt. Crazy cold-footed hunt. It's gonna be a crazy cold-footed hunt.
forget that. Still have plug in. He's going right through here. Right through here. Got him.
we got a shooter spotted up here when we were back there and seeing those little bucks. I kept hearing him snort wheeze. Last I saw, he went out and up. I think if we keep just easing down this ditch, we're eventually going to bump into him. I think we got enough cover in here. At least, like, right now, one could just walk and we'd be standing here and we get a shot. We're just going to follow this ditch down. Get as close to him as we can. It's so fun, dude. There's bucks galore in here. He's a nice one. He's a really nice buzz. Well guys, I think this is the end of tonight. I think that buck just got out before we got to him. Came in and gave it an aggressive go. I mean, came in with the saddles on her back and never even took them off. And that's the beauty of these things is you can go in and just feel it out. I mean, we fell out the night exactly like we said we were going to and we got soaking wet feet in the process, but I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we kept going. Yeah. Because it was like... We're glad to move in here. Mm -hmm. Logan is going back to Minnesota tomorrow, and Dylan and I are going to New York, so I'm really looking forward to that. John Lewis, our buddy who we'll probably film some hunts of as well, missed a big nine-pointer this morning, so that's a bummer, but at least we'll get to keep hunting with him. <laughs> I really enjoyed hunting with Logan. That was super fun. Yeah, that's right. Maybe if Logan didn't always nail the shot. I'm glad you guys just, like just bared with it just so we could hunt together. Cause it's been like I'm gonna remember this one for a while. Cause like you just don't see that many big bucks in a general week of hunting in Iowa. And just to have you here it was like so fun. I'm really happy that we did it. So next time I'll see the viewers, New York. If everything goes as planned, we can do some Minnesota hunting too. All right. Later on. The water is worse on the way back. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs>